Welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all of the time. He's worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon El Che, the living God who loves you with a true agape love. He wants to fill your heart. He wants to fill your mind. He wants to fill you with the knowledge of his will and give you wisdom and spiritual understanding in the knowledge of him. Of him. We have a relationship with him. And he wants to speak into your heart. He wants to lead you. Spirit to spirit communication is what we have with him. He leads us in his way, in the path that he has for us. He has thoughts of peace towards us and thoughts of, of love for us. He has goodness in mind for us. That even though we've been through a hard time, even though situations are ahead, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The Lord is almighty and all powerful and he is in you. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead is in us. Hmm? And that same spirit, at the time when Christ comes, we will be lifted with him in the air. We will be lifted to meet, this, meet Jesus in the air. Oh, because of him who is in us. That's why we need to practice hearing his voice. That's why we need to practice not leaning on our own understanding about this world and the situations and the circumstances of this world. We are the children of God, called out of darkness, brought into light. We've been brought into the revelation, into the, the knowledge that God is. We have the spirit of truth. That, that, that power that raised Christ from the dead isn't just some power. He's the same spirit of God that was over the waters in the very beginning. And when God the Father spoke, the spirit of God went into action. And that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead is in us. He is the spirit of truth, the spirit of the word of God. He Mm -hmm. Doesn't the Bible say that the, the God is spirit? It says that we have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The Father and the Son and the Spirit are one. And He makes His home in us. That's what the Bible says. He, the Lord wants to make His home in you. We're his house, his tabernacle, his tent. He perfects us. He takes us out of a soulish realm, a soulish way of living, and brings us into the spiritual way of living. When we acknowledge the Lord, when we acknowledge that he is and, that, and what Jesus has done for us, and really come in by way of the Spirit, we're going to be so spiritually minded that we're really going to walk in the life. The life of God. That God has for us. We're going to walk in His plan. Where we're going to walk in the knowledge of Him who is life. And we're going to have absolute peace and absolute rest. Greater is He that is in you that can keep your heart and mind than He that is in the world. All power to keep your heart and mind all power to get you through whatever you're walking through if we would keep our thoughts towards him and lay everything else to rest <laughs> look at i got some stuff <laughs> all in front of me i got some stuff that i'm going to have to do in a few minutes i've got some stuff i'm going to have to deal with throughout the day and through the night but i am determined to keep him the lord our father the almighty god first I'm determined to keep the Lord Jesus first. I'm determined to lay down my soul and my feelings about whatever somebody else is doing, whatever somebody else has said, whatever words come into my atmosphere. I'm determined to keep my mind stayed on the Lord. He's given us a shield and surrounding shield. He is that shield. His word is the shield and surrounding shield. 
He is the strength of our lives. He is absolutely the shield and surrounding shield. His word. And I, I know I just said that, but we've got to get hold of this. He is living and active. His word is living and active. Wherever the Father has sent his word, it will not return void. And he sends that word into our hearts. He writes that word on our mind. If we would eat and drink the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. If we would eat and drink the word of God. Isn't Jesus the word that became flesh? Isn't Jesus the very word that was sent to Mary and she conceived the word of God? And our salvation was birthed. You know, I love this deep on the deep stuff. I, I love how the Lord speaks into our hearts to bring us into himself and to make us one. Have the victory in your life through Christ and everything that he's done for us. Now, I'm so tired of leaning on my own understanding and these personal things that happen around us when the Lord has given us life if we would trust him. Stop just looking at the sky and looking at the things going on around us. Stop looking so much outwardly and start looking to the one who's planted his seed in our hearts. I want us to conceive this word of truth. Get the word in your face. Eat and drink the Lord Jesus Christ. This word of God, the word that the Father speaks from heaven, and puts in our heart and writes on our minds. This is a keeper. This word will keep your heart and mind through everything. David was able to say, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Because he is with me. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Lord Jehovah, Adonai, the El Elyon, the El Che, the living God, the Father of heaven and earth, he is with us. <laughs> He's never going to leave us. He's not going to throw us away. His love, we cannot be separated from his love. You can't be plucked out of his hand. Let's not get carried away with this world. Let's not be swept away with the world. Let's not be swept away and have this... Oh, <laughs> all this mess going on in our minds when the one who came to gave us life really gave us life. We are the shining light in this world to the world. Jesus left us here on purpose and didn't take us straight up with him this moment we said yes to Christ. He left us here to be a shining light in this place so that others will see and know God. We are the example of of, of of God in the flesh. He has put himself here in our hearts. The keeper is here. The one that no matter what we're going through, we still have hope. We have this expectation. The God, our Father, our Father the Father of heaven and earth, he's our expectation. We have life everlasting. We have we have him taking his word and watching over his word to perform it. We have him who says, if you delight yourself in me, I'll give you the desires of your heart. Cast all your care upon me because I care for you. Huh? He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and my way of doing things and and everything, the, the, all the stuff that you're in need of, it's going to come. It's just going to happen. I love you. This is what the Lord says, I love you. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm so stuck on what we see with our eyes and what we hear with our ears in this place, in this world. We're so deceived so easily, so thrown off of the path of life. Christ is our life. The word of God is our life. And I'm not saying it religiously. I'm saying God is alive. He's living. His word is living and active. He, he's, he's like that person who's in your life that you want that person to love you so much. God is alive. 
just tired of the flesh right now. I'm tired of looking at people and having an expectation about what they will do. I'm tired of judging people because of what they look like or what they sound like or whatever it is about them, what they just did. I'm tired of being a judge. I'm tired of a whole lot of things about myself and about others because we don't lean on God and his understanding where he sees us, how he sees us. We need to abide in his love and cast all of our ways out and let the Lord lift us up in the knowledge of who he is. Because we're going to see who we are, I have to go. But we will see who we are when we really sit down with him and walk with him and talk with him. He's the almighty God, the wonderful counselor. He's the prince of peace. He won, he's the one who gives you a peace that surpasses all of your understanding. You can rest in the mighty God. You can sit down with the wonderful counselor. You can receive the, the prince of peace in your heart and nothing by, by any means will trouble you. When you cast the care before him, he takes it and he gives you something. He gives you his word. The word of God is living and active. And let that word rest in your heart. Begin to say what the Lord is saying about you. and Begin to say what the Lord is saying about the situation. Begin to say what the Lord is saying about that other person. Begin to say what the Lord is saying. Write down whatever plans you need to write down there that are good. Get, if God gives you an idea, if you hear a good idea, write it down. Write it down and look at it and look at it again. Get the word in your face today. Be filled with the knowledge of his will and get wisdom. With all you're getting, that's in Proverbs chapter 5, I believe. With all you're getting of, of everything. Get wisdom. Get an understanding. The Lord will give it to you as you reveal your heart to him. You bring your cares to him. I'm telling you, he will reveal himself to you. He'll give you the answer. And you will have peace. And this is Pastor Cheryl Jackson to Get the Word in Your Face International. Get the Word in Your Face. The Lord loves you with a true agape love. And he wants to pour that love in your heart. So you can love others. <laughs> like Christ loves you. Be strong in the Lord. Bye-bye.